Hi folks, my name is Andrew Pittendruch. I'm an enterprise architect. And as an enterprise architect, I have the responsibility for managing the application governance in my organization. Given that this topic is really important for my organization, and given that I've got quite a large application portfolio within my purview, it's really important that I can wrap some automation around this and bring other stakeholders into the process in order to support me in that role. So with that in mind, I'd like to take just a few minutes to take you through the application ownership process as it has been set up and automated in RDoc. In order to do this, uh, and in order to set this process up in my existing RDoc environment, I had to create a few additional assets, like some surveys, some broadcasts, a couple of fields, and the application governance process dashboard, which you can currently see on screen. Fortunately, this wasn't a process that I had to feel my way around in the dark for. I was fully guided by this process playbook, which is a published article in the knowledge base that takes stakeholders through the process of setting up this process from start to finish in an existing RDoc environment. So coming back into RDoc, I'd like to just cover or go through a couple of the assets that I created to give you a sense of how this is gonna work. Once I have shown you how I've set it up from an admin perspective, working in the core application, we'll look at how, for example, a nominated owner would interface with the information and the process in RDoc Discover. To start off with, just a high level overview of the application governance using this dashboard something like the application uh, management trend. The stack bar chart here gives you an indication over time in terms of how applications are moving through those different ownership states, starting as unowned, then to nominated, then to owned, and then to managed. Fortunately, over 70% of the portfolio is already in a managed state. Managed means the application is owned and the information about the application is current in that it is not older than six months. So with that in mind, let's have a look at a couple of the other assets that were set up, starting with a survey. The specific survey I want to look at is the application, uh, sorry, the ALM, that's Application Lifecycle Management Ownership Acceptance Survey. So this survey is going to be distributed to stakeholders that have been nominated as a specific owner. Of course, any unowned applications in your portfolio need to have a nominated owner in order for this process to kick off. For those of you who don't work in RDoc, uh, Core RDoc includes a fully integrated survey builder, which makes it super easy to mock up these surveys that you will ultimately distribute to your stakeholders. The important things we want to define is the component that the survey is targeting. In this case, we're looking at the application workspace and specifically targeting the application component. And a relatively simple survey asking only two questions. The important question here is simply confirming whether you are or are not the owner of an application. There's a conditional question attached to this as well, wherein if the answer is no to the previous question, so you are not the nominated owner, then please specify who that nominated owner is. Once you select a different person here, that'll create a new reference then between the application and the new nominated person, which when the broadcast triggers and executes the next time, the newly nominated person is gonna receive the broadcast message with the survey link to confirm whether they are or are not in fact the nominated owner. So speaking of the broadcast, let's have a look at that next. I will look at the nominated owner broadcast. So this particular broadcast and the broadcast for the avoidance of doubt is kind of like the workflow or the automation mechanism around distributing surveys based on certain conditions to different stakeholders in your organization. This broadcast is going to send the survey ownership acceptance survey, which is the one we just looked at, to a predefined set of stakeholders based on one or more conditions. The conditions in this case is simply to send the survey only to applications who have got a nominated state, uh, application ownership state. So the four possible states there being unowned, nominated, owned, and managed. This one's only targeting those nominated applications, which if we preview that, there's a total of nine applications within our portfolio that fit that criteria. Selecting the audience is where we can use a predefined query. Predefined query in RDoc simply means we're using a predefined relationship between a person component and the application component, in this case, the owns component. And if a person has got more than one component, assigned to them that meets the filter criteria, in this case, that the application is, is in a nominated state, then you'll be able to see all the applications as it relates to the specific stakeholder. We can direct stakeholders to different means in which to engage in the process and with the content. The option that we've chosen is to, in our broadcast message, provide a link directly to the My Tasks page in Discover. My Tasks is a new feature that's been built into Discover um, where any stakeholders that are targeted as part of a predefined query uh, will receive a notification not only to their email inbox but also to the discover landing page as a task that needs action in 
So without spending too much detail on um, this section here, of course, you can compose a message and you can customize this as is needed for your organization. You can white label it as well to suit your organizational branding. And we can set up a schedule around that. So we're suggesting a daily schedule, but it's flexible to, to redefine this. If we were to preview that broadcast message, then you can kind of see what the email would look like that the stakeholder is going to receive with that link then to be able to navigate to the My Tasks in Discover. So that was really just getting a glimpse into how the process is set up, looking specifically at the survey, how the survey is triggered and sent to stakeholders based on a broadcast, which is filtering information based on some predefined conditions. Everything that you have seen set up is all covered in the process playbook. Uh, and as already stated, this is really easy to get plugged into your existing environment. After my section, we're going to see how this actually looks from an end user, uh, end user perspective that's been selected as a nominated user and how they would either accept or reject and choose a new nominated owner and how they can also contribute to the application information currency. So updating the information to make sure it is less than six months old. Hi, I see here I've received some email into my inbox and the architecture team must be asking for my contribution. So I'm going to go ahead and click the email and go into RDoc Discover. So what I can see under RDoc Discover is two tasks in my inbox. And it looks like I've been nominated to be an application owner for Adobe Experience Manager. But um, this is not an application that I'm actually responsible for. So I'm going to tell the architecture team that um, it is not me and that I should um, nominate one of my colleagues for this. So I'm going to assign this to Billy and I will submit this to the architecture team so that they know Bill is responsible. Now I see I have one more task here and that is to review some of the application details for Slack. I am the application owner there. So I'm just gonna take a quick check through. There hasn't been a lot of changes recently, so I believe most of the information we have about this application should be correct. The application hosting type looks good. It is still um, silver service level. I haven't made any changes to this, so I expect it's clear sailing. If I had made any changes, for example, I could change the life cycle. I could look at the dates and make sure they're correct. I'm not going to phase this out or replace with another system. Everything here is still looking correct. There are some basic governance questions at the end. And one of those is that I should be um, updating the review date. So let me just go into that and check today, and then we're good. We can submit this. The architecture team will be happy. Everything's up to date, and we're uh, ready to roll. Thank you.